Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina with a absolutely epic catch. Captain Garrett and the boys just got back off this 39-hour trip with a massive load of amberjack, grouper, snapper, trigger fish, and more. Just too many fish. Almost ran out of room. It was a, a stellar trip for 33 passengers. Seemingly more fish than we had on some of those red snapper sold out trips. And everybody only wants to fish during that red snapper season because they want to catch those keeper red snapper. But this goes to show you, you can catch even more outside of that red snapper season and have lighter loads too. Great opportunity to get out there with us. Friday, we've got a light load on the 44 hour. It looks like you guys stroked them, huh, Will? Oh, yeah, we stroked them. Good fishing at night. Nothing wrong with the nighttime fishing, big mangroves, yellowtail, vermilion, and we drove out to some jacks that uh, Captain Garrett's been wanting to fish for a while but never got to during jack season. And uh, we got all we wanted and then some, and then we left, and they're still biting. That's crazy. Yeah, definitely excited about another opportunity to go get them on the 44-hour Friday. Another light load, another great opportunity to catch tons of these jacks. Looks like besides the jacks, you guys did pretty well on the grouper, too. Yeah, we did well on the scams. Uh, threw back a decent amount of reds. The gags were picky, but we do got one. Well, Bobby, hold that gag up. We got a big gag in here. Uh, how, this, how many gags do you think you ended up with? I think this one is number two. Oh, wow. Great job holding that but, fish, buddy. Uh, I could see all of it. Turn him a little bit. <laughs> That's a rental rod gag grouper female, one of our lady anglers. Lady angler on a rental rod, huh? And they caught it on uh, what bait? Uh, that was caught on a piece of squid. On a piece of squid, wow. That's crazy. That's awesome. What about the scamp? What were they biting on? The scamp were small pin fish is my favorite bait for the scamps small pinfish and uh you guys caught and released a lot of red grouper or were yeah. you able to avoid them no we've got too many maybe 10 to 15 decent sized red grouper so you were able to avoid them pretty we were good able huh? to avoid them uh, some big big beeliners as here. far as baits for the jacks these things the porgies oh yeah the old knobbed eye porgy was the hot bait huh yeah they don't they wouldn't get down to the bottom <laughs> just smacking them crazy yeah, that's awesome, man. So hot bait was the big, big live baits for the jacks. And uh, then small pinfish for the scamp, the mangroves on the thread fin. And Leo brought out a well full of half-day bait, and it was every single drop, every time. I mean, it was literally every drop every time, but his half-day bait was only getting about 50 feet down. Wow, so the, the half-day bait was the best option, huh? On oh, the jacks. We probably, Leo probably helped catch 15 tags on that bait you brought out. So going fishing on the half day prior to the trip was a great opportunity to get some big, big baits. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Well, epic catch. Anything else you want to add or recommend to people if they're coming out on that 44-hour Friday to get some of these fish? 44-hour uh, Friday, if they're biting like this, then uh, even, if we don't, even if you don't catch big line baits, you bring some jigs, you get one on a jig. The jigs were working well, too, huh? I don't even think anybody was jigging, but they would bite them. They were nice. biting like crazy. That's awesome, man. Some nice yellowtail in there hiding, too. There's a huge one in there hiding. There's like a seven-pound yellowtail in there. Wow. So big yellowtails, almacos, porgies, vermilions, mangroves. I see a nice big strawberries. Look at them scamp. I saw a big scamp at the bottom of the pile, too. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Yes, sir. Stellar catch. Trigger fish, too. Lots of trigger fish. Absolutely crazy. Epic catch. Captain Garrett put these boys on the meat. Crazy. Goes from one side to the other. <laughs> wow. Stellar catch again on this uh, long range adventure here at Hubbard's Marina. Hopefully you get an opportunity to come out and join us for some deep sea fishing. Don't forget, we've got tons of opportunities to get out there on the water. If you can't go for 39 hours, we've got the 12-hour extreme that'll get you out there deep water and give you an opportunity to catch some of these fish like that. We've got tons of other trips too, five-hour half day, 
10 hour all day private fishing charters you can rent the flying hub too and get out there to the deep water you got the, the dolphin watching nature cruise and eco tours the shelling the island trips we've got it all here at hubbard's marina hopefully we'll see you sometime soon for some fishing fun remember we've got our live stream show every sunday night 8 30 p.m you could win some of these free fishing trips We've got our Saturday morning Real Animals radio show every Saturday morning, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. We've got our Friday morning Fox 13 news segment every Friday morning at 8.15 a.m. Hopefully we'll see you out here September 13th, 7 p.m. at Krabby's on the Pass for a fishing conversation. Or we'll see you uh, Sunday, the 21st, September 21st at 2 p.m. at the Tampa Bass Pro Shops. The snook were loaded up this morning. We have lots of snook around the pass still. Lots of mangrove snapper around too. Great opportunities to get out inshore during the day. The snook are out on the beaches. There's still a few around the docks, but they're a little leader shy. At night's the good time to get those snook. During the day, the mangrove snapper on those slow moving tides are a great option inshore. Near shore, we're seeing some nice lane snapper, mangroves, a couple keeper uh, gag grouper occasionally, especially on those smaller private charter boats targeting those smaller spots. Also, we're seeing a few mackerel return into the area. The mackerel are back, lots of bait around near shore, and uh, we should see the kingfish showing up uh, here very shortly as well. Probably in the next two to three weeks, we'll see a couple kingfish popping in. I would say the early season kingfish typically comes before the end of September. So we're looking forward to that uh, fall run of the kingfish near shore. Offshore, as you can see from that big pile of fish, absolutely epic catch from this 39 hour trip. So hopefully you caught that pile. Hopefully we'll see you Sunday night for the live stream show or September 13th at Krabby's on the pass for that fishing conversation or September 21st, 2 p.m. at Tampa Bass Pro Shops or even better, out fishing with us at Hubbard's Marina. It's that time of year. Things are slower. The boats are less full, light loads, great opportunities to get on the water. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Have a great day, y'all.